Good morning. I uh, figured I'd better pop on and make a video. So, I uh, was taking a little break from VTOL VR, and against my better judgment, I uh, I decided, oh, I'll watch uh, Bear Independence Brief today. Again, against my better judgment. But he said something on there that could cost people <laughs> a lot. It, it could cause you to catch a federal offense. And I get this whole he's on top of the world thing. He's got like a couple hundred thousand subs on YouTube. So now he believes he's a household name when in reality it's pretty much like winning the gold medal of the Special Olympics. Sure, the people of the Special Olympics might know you who you are, but the world as a whole, mm, maybe not so much. I'm pretty sure at this point, he actually thinks that he's larger than God himself. And I, I'm not just throwing that out there. I'm not. The way he misuses scripture and all of that stuff, the way he tries to... Uh, tries to legitimize everything he says and everything he does. Yeah, he thinks he's larger than God, or at least has the ultimate approval of God, and, and I guess can make his own scripture. But I'm not here to talk about all that nonsense, although that really needs to be addressed. I'm here to talk about what he had to say about drones. And I've talked about this before, I've covered this before, I have a link. I'll leave the link for you in the first comment and in the description of the video. But, folks, do not, do not shoot down a drone. That is as dumb, stupid, ignorant thing that you could possibly do. Do not shoot down a drone. I don't care if you live in the state of Oklahoma. I don't care if you live on an Indian reservation. I don't care if you go by the name Bear Independent on YouTube and make you up a battle. It doesn't matter. Because guess who doesn't own the air? The state of Oklahoma doesn't own the air. The Indian Reservation doesn't own the air. And no, no, he may think so, but Bear Independent doesn't own the air either. The FAA has complete control of the air, not over some parts of the U.S., or maybe this little spot over here, but not here. That, that place isn't important. No, the FAA is control of the airspace over the entire United States of America, and the same laws apply. This is a big deal. I wouldn't be making a video if it wasn't a big deal. So let me go ahead and bring you on over, and I just pulled up a, a website. You can get this information from a plethora of web websites. It's, it's actually common knowledge, although not so common for people named Bear Independent. Consequences of shooting down a drone, what to expect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this first paragraph, and we're going to fast forward right down to the meat of the uh, content says, from surveying landscapes to delivering packages, drones have steadily found their way into various aspects of our lives. However, their increasing presence in our skies can sometimes lead to invasion of privacy, raising critical questions for homeowners and bystanders alike. One question we frequently hear is, what happens if I shoot down a drone? It might feel like a quick fix to a breach of privacy or a nuisance, but pulling the trigger has far-reaching implications. This article intends to illuminate the potential consequences of such an action, digging deep into legal repercussions, safety hazards, and other potential outcomes. So, of course, there's key takeaways, but we're going to go ahead and go right on down to, uh, to uh, what it has to say. Is it here? Yeah. Um... Understanding Drone Laws and Regulations. Federal Regulations Regarding Shooting Down a Drone. This is the only, only two paragraphs that I need to read. And if you are in even a little bit confused on the law after I read these paragraphs, then you should probably go apply to be in bear camp because that's pretty much where you're at. When discussing drone regulations in the United States, 
The FAA is the central authority. As per the FAA, drones are considered aircraft and as such, they fall under the jurisdiction of federal laws concerning aircraft protection. Meaning, drones are covered under the exact same laws as manned aircraft. Let's continue. It says, according to the FAA's report on unmanned aircraft systems, shooting down a drone is a federal crime under the United States Code Title 18, Section 32, which describes the destruction of an aircraft or aircraft facilities as a felony. Violators can face fines and imprisonment of up to 20 years, making it crucial to consider alternative actions rather than resorting to shooting down a drone. So, I do not recommend you do it at all. And if you still, like I say, are confused about this at all, maybe you need to go join Bear Camp. Maybe help him out with his sister with that horrible marijuana addiction. Just absolutely horrid marijuana addiction. Oh, my God. Anyway, folks, don't, don't, don't be that stupid. Seriously, don't be that stupid. There's a lot of people out there that get on YouTubes and everywhere else and puff that chest up and show exactly how stupid they are. Bear being one of them. Don't be like that. Don't be like that, folks. I'm telling you. <laughs> they will not play around. Not even a little bit. Anyway, just please watch who you get your advice from. Some of these yahoos, they don't give a damn about you. They care about their numbers. They care about their wallet. They don't care about you. Shalom.